One of the biggest reasons kids don't function well is because they have a lot of inflammation in a lot of cases. And a lot of times they get inflammation in their brain. So the biggest reasons why kids get inflammation or people in general get inflammation is number one, if they have blood sugar dysregulation. When you get big spikes in your blood sugar, you produce, your body produces inflammation. So making sure that you're not feeding your kid a lot of stuff that uh, has a lot of sugar in it, that's gonna give them those big blood sugar spikes and create inflammation is really important. So stop giving them Pop-Tarts, don't give them juices. Juice has almost just as much sugar as Pop does. Don't give them Pop. Uh, those big dysregulations in blood sugar really, really have an effect on their brain. Making sure that they have a diet that's you know higher in, in uh, low glycemic index vegetables and fruits and stuff like that help them out a ton and also making sure they're getting nice good lean meat can help as well and making sure that it's uh, organic meat is really important the second thing that produces a lot of inflammation in kids is consuming oils that are highly inflammatory so when you think about oils that you want to watch out for they're called omega-6 oils these are oils that french fries are put into these are oils uh, that donuts are in. These, th those types of oils like a canola oil or a sunflower oil or those oils that are hard uh, to process, they're oils that are broken down that create a lot of inflammation. And if you think about it, your brain is primarily made up of fat or a lot of fat and having good fat is extremely important for your brain to function well. When you consume oils that are really not good oils, what happens is your brain uses those oils uh, or those fats to wrap neurons in. So then you're wrapping your neurons in fats that are really inflammatory, which is something you obviously don't want for a kid that's trying to develop well. So making sure you're getting omega-6 oils out of your diet is really important. And then replacing it with omega-3 oils and omega-9 oils. Those are fish oils, coconut oils, uh, olive oils, as long as it's not um, heated to you know over 400 degrees, uh, it keeps the integrity of those oils. Those oils are super, super important for having good brain function. So making sure you're not consuming those foods with high amounts of omega-6 oils and replacing them with omega-3 and omega-9 oils is super, super helpful for helping to decrease inflammation.